Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming. Least toxic, most fun commuter in all gaming. Oh boy, do I have a special treat for you today. It is no secret that the Wild Rift community can be the worst bunch of 12 year olds you ever played a game with. AFKs, trolls, running it down, and especially when someone is intentionally getting their team killed. To be betrayed by someone you think is your friend and ally, is there a greater slight in Wild Rift? You're innocently playing, trying to win. Hey friend, help me and we'll vanquish this foe together. Then, like Judas Iscariot, he gives you the kiss of death and allows your enemies to kill you. Well, 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 my friends, I have some great news for you. Every so often, God smiles down on you and gives you the opportunity to enact justice and right the wrongs of the world. The question is, do you answer the call? Or more importantly, for our current situation, did I answer the call? I've been speaking in riddles. Allow me to fill you in on what happened. I was playing a game of Wild Rift as I often do. A teammate of mine, Streamlord, became upset with presumably my play, possibly my entire team's play. He didn't say anything in chat, and I'm assuming he's banned from chat, and that's why he didn't say anything or type anything. He did, however, spam the thumbs up, then sit in a bush as Vi with his ultimate while I was killed by the enemy. Then he proceeds to add me to his party after the match, or at least try to, Probably to apologize for what he did and explain they lost connection right as he was about to halt, but more likely he was going to flay me in some way. I just want to say one thing here before I show you my opportunity for poetic justice because I actually got to play him in the very next game, ADC versus ADC, and boy was it epic. Whoever this person is, it's not relevant to me. I'm not mad at them, I don't hate them, and they aren't the only person who does things like this. There's a big part of me that feels genuinely bad for somebody who gets so mad at someone playing a game with them. And at the end of the day, the results of a single, non-tournament, non-qualifier match with Wild Rift is probably the most irrelevant part of your year. Yet day after day, people rage in the comments, pings, and actions like this. It's fine to get emotionally involved in winning or losing. I do too. It's that we as a community get so worked up and are the type of people to treat each other like total garbage, not even humans. You often see the comment, dogs. We need to be better. Get ready for this. Wild Rift could be the best game ever if we got it together as a community. I don't know that we will, but I hope someday we can. Okay, rant over. Now back to my chance to avenge our honor. This is for the little guy, the underdog, for every person who has ever had this happen to them, and specifically the RGD community. This game was the culmination of years and thousands of hours of gaming. A single chance to strike back at the tyranny that plagues our game. Let's go! As I glance at the loading screen, I realize what is happening right now. Oh shoot, is it Christmas? Am I leaning against the guy who just got me killed and tried to flame me after the match? Immediately, my pulse increases and I can feel my heart beating. This is it. This is my game winning shot. My chance to prove myself and to strike back at trolls everywhere. I hope you can feel the emotions that I was at this moment. I've already decided I'm going for this. I'm going to play on the edge of this game, and I am going to go for the win. I'm not going to play passably. I'm not going to sit back. I'm going to do everything I can to win this match against this guy. I don't know if he even realizes or remembers who I am. Maybe he does this all the time. It doesn't matter to me. He probably forgot about this match, but I haven't. And now I am ready to play. I'm going to push Zeri to the absolute maximum and push her to the edge of everything she can. I'm already winning the lane a little bit right now, and my Thresh seems to want to play aggressively. So I'm still nervous, I'm still excited, and I'm wondering, can I get the first kill? Caitlyn actually is a better laner than I am. She's also better early game, and she's got great mobility and can really kill me early if I screw up. My Thresh is at half health, and this is just crazy. Like, I'm, I'm nervous, I don't know what to do, and I'm just trying to lane, and now my Thresh is, is at third health. And gonna get it if he lands a good hook i already kind of decided i'm going for this like this is it we're gonna try to take out this caitlin i don't want to win this match i don't want to just get a w i want to punish this caitlin <laughs> i want her to know that i was coming for her and that i was gunning for her this entire match i almost never try to eke out those extra that extra damage from that bush but i've decided this match i'm gonna push it all she gets hit with this I'm diving right in. I'm going to use my all of my abilities, and I'm going for this kill. And I'm able to get the first kill on her. Oh my gosh, it is happening, guys. It is happening, and I get a gank 
from my jungle here to put some more damage on their support. One for one is a beautiful thing for me. Zeri getting a kill over Caitlyn is awesome, and I'm thrilled that my Thresh wants to play aggressively. The next power spike that I have, or really my first power spike, is actually my ultimate. But Thresh lands another hook, and oh my gosh, it's happening again, guys. It is happening again, and we get another kill. And now, this is it. Like, I cannot believe this is happening. I go 2-0-0 against Caitlyn in lane here, and my Thresh is playing absolutely lights out. It gets clear that God and the gods of MOBA have smiled down upon me and given me a real support that wants to play with me. Now, what am I thinking? 2-0 is great. Am I going to sit back? Let me give you the answer. I am not sitting back. I want to push this lead. And here's a quick lesson for you. Actually, this should be how we play all of our games. We get so comfortable playing games, but look at this Thresh. Like, he's cheesing this Caitlyn right now and wants her to come and hook her again. And that's really how all of our games should be played. We should be playing on the edge of winning and losing, and we should be playing to punish the enemy that makes mistakes. Like this Caitlyn should not have given me the kills, I should not be up for my first item, and now that Sona was too far out, and Thresh is going in, and he's pressuring them. He's constantly pressuring them, even though his ADC is a later game ADC than the enemy team. So this is absolutely bananas. I have my ultimate, and I am just, I have all my summoner spells, I set up vision, and I want to dive here. But I see Tristana, so <laughs> I actually want to get out of there right now. And fortunately, I'm able to use my jump, get out of there, and actually my Thresh lives it as well. And I take the shot for Thresh just to make sure he lives. Perfect. I go back, I have my ultimate, I get my first item, and I get some boots. And I'm still looking to put pressure on. I see that dragon is up, and I'm going to be trending in dragon's direction. And the other thing that I'm doing is I'm telling Thresh, like, good lip, Thresh. You did a good job. Now, I want to cheese these guys, so what I'm going to do is let Thresh get in there, ultimate, and press this again. And I'm going to focus Caitlyn, get the kill, and now I'm going to go for Sona. And let's see, can I get Sona? I do. I am 4-0-0 against the troll that got us and I'm trending towards Dragon. So it is happening, guys. This could not be going any better right now than it is for us. We have some issues going on on the opposite side of the map, or opposite side of the map that I'm not too worried about. I don't know why my cane isn't coming here to help us finish this Dragon, but whatever. We're able to get Dragon, and somebody on my team wants to quit. They need to look at what's going on on the top side of the map and how their ADC is doing so well. I really need to get in a shop here and I don't want to be in this lane too much. I want to get my tier 2 boots. They give me attack damage, attack speed. Those are the boots that I like on Zeri right now. But I want to clear at least one more wave and I also want to play a little bit safe because right now actually if I get in a 1v1 where I don't have my summoner spells, I don't have my ultimate, I can actually lose against this Caitlyn and die. So I just want to back off, get my shop in, and kind of go from there. Looks like we get a couple more kills, and we get Rift Herald, so this is perfect. Now, something that you want to do, it's a cheese play with Zeri, but I did it once in this match, and I'm going to do it again. If somebody's attacking your tower, and you can kill them, and you're ready to go, you should come this way. They can't see you. Jump over the wall. Use your ultimate, first ability, second ability. You get tons of slow on them, and you get another kill. On the person that just flamed you. This is the best match of my life. I am playing lights out, and I cannot believe how well this is going at this point. Heart is still racing. This is crazy. But now I need to get the heck out of here and try to live this. First ability to slow. Use my shield. And fortunately, it looks like I'm going to be able to live it here. And that went great. 5 0 oh, and 0. Oh. I, I don't know that I've had. I rarely, if ever, start 5 0 oh, and 0 oh in a match or get 5 kills before a death and just after first dragon. But we were able to do it. And now, actually, if you look at this, we're going to try to get some pressure on the tower. The tower's pretty low and I'm pretty strong, so that way I can actually get the tower in here. And if we get it, what we want to do is jump in and dive, ultimate, and another kill. I, I really, I got so greedy here. I should have backed off and got out of there, 
but fortunately we're able to live it again because we're so strong and we are 7-0-0. Oh and, oh. <laughs> and, and this is just the absolute most bananas thing. Uh, I'm typing to my team, thank you for saving me. And I think, unfortunately, I wanted this to drag out a little bit longer about how this match actually went because I think it would have been more exciting if it would have taken a, a little bit longer to play out. But you guys have seen. I feel like even if we end up losing the match at this point, which I don't want to say whether we actually win or lose uh, because we have some issues on our team in other places, but even if we end up 7-0 and 1, even if we end up losing the match, I think I have put the exclamation point onto Streamlord and let him know that he shouldn't have flamed me and I'm probably the better ADC than him. Um, I, I try not to say that arrogantly, but I'm definitely better than him. I actually looked at his stats and they're not that great. Uh, and that will happen from time to time. But now you can see I'm just this is just the most cheese ridiculous. I shouldn't be here. But I wanted to get another kill onto him. I really at that point it was just about punishing him <laughs> and trying to get kills on Streamlord. It was not a great play, but that's okay. I felt like we were ahead enough. We had two dragons. Uh, I'm pretty fed that I could do that. The other thing too, I just strategically, if you really think about it, when you have somebody on the enemy team that is doing as poorly as this guy is, and the other team is just gonna, they're gonna start flaming him. They're gonna have problems with him. I didn't even have to use my alt there, but I think he's, I think he's one eight something. Anyway, I think he has one kill and a ton of deaths, but you actually cause a really big morale issue for your team. And even if somebody on your team is doing poorly at this point, because you're doing so well as one of the carries, they actually probably won't give up. Unlike with the enemy team, when something like bad happens, they're just going to be much more likely to give up on the entire game because they think, oh, like our carry is basically dead. There's nothing he can do. Now let's see if the Sona... Ah, uh, they had to use everything, but they got out of there and... They actually got Baron there, which was unfortunate for us, and probably due to my mistake <laughs> going to get that kill on Caitlyn, but that's okay. Really all that we need to do is just push out our waves, which our top lane's pushed out pretty good. We can get to mid, our bottom wave is okay as well, and we'll be fine. Like, we just need to wait this Baron out. They're not. We're not going to lose over it. We might lose a couple of towers, but really not that big of a deal. Looks like we're going to lose two towers, unless things get weird. And here I'm just telling my team to defend, because um, that's really what we need to do. And then we need to set up for that third dragon. And I'm pinging that I'm on my way to come get Caitlyn again, because I want another kill onto Caitlyn. And she goes down again. It seems like, I, you know, she might be running it down. She might be trying to do something while her team was getting that mid-tier tower. Uh, probably not like the worst play in the world but also a little bit aggressive. And let's see if we're going to get out of this. This is a lot of action. I've got a good amount of shield. That was a good hook by Thresh. And I'm now I'm rolling in and trying to get there. Let's see. Get a double kill. We're able to slow. Boom. And we wipe him. And then we're going to get the third dragon for free. Uh, so really... That's uh, probably Caitlyn's fault when you really think about it going down and then letting everybody just collapse. Their team should have got out of there when we were collapsing on it. And then I go for Guardian here because I want to... I don't want to die again as much as... Uh, I, I just don't want to die, and if I go down, the Guardian will save me. And so that's why I went with it at this point. I probably could have even done a little bit early. Kane gets a double kill. I jump in. That Morgana's never getting out of there, I don't, or she does. I don't think she's going to get out of there and live for very long. I think she can get out of there and run for a bit. And now we should be looking to Baron. I saw Jarvan and I was trying to... I wanted to get on top of him and just come up behind him because I knew he was going to try to make a play. And there we go. We we're able to get another kill on him. And now we're going to be able to get Baron. And things are looking great for us. Uh, we've got four kills. We actually have pressure in their mid lane right now which is Caitlyn there. I'm going to try to take this tower and then sort of decide if I want to go with the inhibitor tower. Oh, Caitlyn goes down again. <laughs> oh, so unfortunate for them. I should have tried to add them after this match, but I didn't. Um, now I need to back off here. I want to get the tower, and I'm able to, but I didn't want to die for it. That wouldn't have made too much sense because 
there's a big bounty on me and there was a lot of them there we've got elder spawning in a minute and 10 seconds right now and now that they're kind of stuck back in their base i want to farm their camps and take some of their jungle and a bunch of their farm and then as much as possible safely push the waves in so that way they're constantly pressed in because you really want to get as much pressure on them as possible and that was a mistake on their part let's see that was a good stasis by them stasis flash to get out of there um, unfortunately let's see if i'm able to live i probably didn't need to use stasis there but again i really don't want to die i know i have a guardian as well but it seemed worth it to keep it and we're gonna get the w here g g guys we did it we were able to take down the troll that was a ton of fun thank you for joining me on this trip this journey for revenge and i hope you felt it as well because e even just going back over it there was still emotion and part of it because you get worked up like it's just a game but at the same time it's a little bit more than a game um i think i think a lot of people who watch this channel and a lot of people that play well will understand that this is a little bit more than a game for us and it's a little bit more important than just some random game that you play on the internet. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I see you on the rift. GG.